Okay, hey everyone, uh, welcome to the quick video on the Xenon. Uh, so, I haven't really done that much upgrading. I've actually got my drop gear on at the moment. I haven't done that much upgrading uh, since I did the last equip video, I think, but uh, you know, just as a refresher, I'll go over everything. Uh, yeah, so, like I just said, I was wearing my drop gear. That's the one thing that I'm really working on on this character at the moment, uh, because one of the things that I found that I was really lacking, especially in terms of being able to farm uh, things for latch in terms of the symbols, I need more drop gear, or well, I need more, a higher drop rate. So I've got the wolf already, but I need more drop gear, so I've got a pendant uh, done, I need to get the greed pendant to legendary, and then I also need a few rings, face accessories, etc, etc, in order to do that. I figure I'll wait for the next miracle time. I haven't actually cubed during a, a miracle time on the Xenon for probably well over a year. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just go through everything. Uh, basic totems, these are from Sengoku. Uh, it comes out every couple of months. Golex rings with a mixture of strength, luck, and dex as well as all stat. And uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to be doing is I'll work towards getting a SS ring to replace this one, and then I'll turn this one into a drop rate ring, I'm not sure whether that would actually be the best idea in terms of, because of the stats on it obviously, because I could just sell it and then turn a different ring into another drop rate ring. I'll decide later, it just depends how much I really need the money. Uh, superior Golux Pendants, uh, Fafna Split Edge, haven't changed that in a while, but it still does what I need it to do. 12 star Tyrant Belt, I'd love to get it to 15 stars, but I really don't want to invest uh, the amount of um, NX it would take to do that sort of thing. I've still got no booms on this account somewhere. Uh, five of them, so I'd have enough to get another one of my tyrants to 15 stars and the other one to 14. Uh, let's see. Uh, RA hat uh, with a good set of stats in terms of advanced bless. I could get that as a fifth job skill if I really wanted to, but it's already on the hat with uh, nine decks and percent all stats so it's pretty decent uh, face accessory probably could have more all stat on there if I wanted to same with this one yeah it's only got two main stats whereas you really want three this one again it's only got two lines I think I've been meaning to work on this one as well with the hyper body and everything but I just never really got around to it uh, 15 star tyrant boots Superior Golex earrings, Tinkerer shoulder, 12 star gloves, so this is the other item that I'd want to uh, use um, no booms on. I feel like I should work on the bonus potential there because 2% attack, 2% uh, dex probably isn't the best I could uh, go with. I could probably just um, land on some weapon attack and that would be better. Uh, hybrid heart, I've had this equipped for ages, no need to change anything. Ghost Ship Badge, I didn't actually end up getting the Sengoku Badge because I ran out of time uh, to do it uh, since I was focusing on Reboot in terms of getting it over there. I didn't um, get around to doing it on here, I was busy with other things. Uh, Beta Metal, uh, I think it's still the best uh, metal in slot, I'm not sure, I think, well, as far as I know it is. Uh, Octocore Controller, good stats. Shame about the int on the bonus potential. 15 star Tyrant Cape, and this is the most recent equip. I don't think I actually ended up making a video on it, but I did scroll it with uh, whatever they were called. I think I've still got some on here somewhere. Well, but yeah, just attack scrolls. Uh, 110, and I landed on 27% luck. I hated myself for equipping the heart before I finished uh, cubing it, but. Uh, I might change the, I will change the stats uh, whenever I feel like it, you know, it, it is a nice um, <laughs> equip to have there, uh, but yeah. And then yeah, I just got the arcane symbols, I got a bit lazy because I stopped playing the Xenon and I started focusing on reboot more often, so I am doing these uh, every day, I have not farmed a single uh, latch symbol just because, again, 
Lucid really isn't on my to-do list uh, with a group or solo. I don't think I'd even be able to solo it. That would be crazy. Um, but I am starting just to work on them to build up my uh, Arcane Force. And uh, yeah, then there's just the drop gear over here. So Earring, Pendant, uh, Greed Pendant, and Solid Golux Ring. What I ended up doing was I figured there was all this gear on my Corsair that I don't use anymore, and I just moved a couple of the accessories over. Like, you might recognize these earrings. They are actually on the Corsair account. And the combination I got, the Meso and Item Drop, it's what I've been trying to achieve in Reboot, so I was... <laughs> really annoyed when I landed on it on here because yeah well percent me meso is okay to have here as well it's better to have that combination in reboot because it would mean that I wouldn't have to worry about making a drop rate earring uh, but whatever it's all down to RNG I guess and then yeah just got my uh, speed infusion uh, speed infusion and sharp eyes gloves my lotus top which I don't really need to wear anymore thank god uh, and this is my Tower of Oz top. I've been considering trying to do Tower of Oz, but I feel like I'm just not that good at jump quests, which is why I won't probably get the 120 heart on reboot for the uh, the Android event, unless Nexon makes a change where all you have to do is get up to B1 or get up to the first door and not have to go back. You know, I'm hoping that they would put in that sort of change because I have been trying to do B1, but yeah, I just can't do the gas vents, and I decided I've got better things to spend my time on rather than get angry at a game. I think I saw someone say that on Reboot, and I'm like, yeah, I agree with that line of thinking. And then, yeah, just another drop rate ring here, and just a few random medals and old hearts. And I'll just finish off with showing you guys what my range is, and, uh, yeah, so unbuffed, other than the fact that this is on, and the LG, LGR blessing. Okay, let's just do everything. I'm interested to see how much uh, the Maple Union update increases my range. Uh, but yeah, it'll be uh, an interesting thing to work out how to do. that, do this, that, this, and that. Yeah, pretty happy with that to be honest. Obviously it uh, gets blown out a bit by the, uh, what do you call it, Angelic Buster skill, uh, but yeah, I'm uh, happy with uh, that result. There's a little bit of work to do still in terms of just fixing up some equips and I'd love to get another crit line here because originally I did have a 10% crit uh, which raised me up to 100% crit rate without SE but I guess I need SE anyway for crit damage increase. I could actually increase my crit damage as well. Uh, I've got it maxed here in the hyper stat skills along with ignore defense damage and boss damage uh, but I think my gloves only have one line of crit yeah so if I could get two lines that would be awesome but might be difficult alright uh, I'll be coming out with a node skill V matrix video next guys so keep an eye out for that and hope you enjoy all the no buff bossing and the lotus video I put out alright catch you guys later